G'day, Raf here from PropMaker. This is the channel that helps you make stuff, restore stuff, and repair stuff. And as you know, I've been completing a couple of projects over, well, three projects over here, two of which are completed, and one of which is in progress. So I've gone and done it again. I think you need to uh, So, what have I actually done? I bought myself a dilapidated pinball machine called, from a different company this time, these ones were all Williams machines. This one is actually a machine from Gottlieb. And this particular one is called Soccer. So, I downloaded the brochure right here. So the brochure says, Gottlieb's two-player soccer, smashingly new, rolling bonus. Advancing bonus kicks balls up into holding track. When bonus is scored in kick-out hole and out hole, each ball is individually snap-kicked off holding track while simultaneously scoring 1,000 per ball. Bonus can be scored several times during play of each Mystery bonus hole kicks one to three balls onto holding track five pulses from five pulses from either of two spinning targets kicks up one bonus ball. Double bonus scored on last ball in play. Star rollover light side target for special scoring throughout the entire game. Side rollover opens bottom ball back. There's not much punctuation in this at all. Um, in fact, their English is atrocious, but it, it was 1975 that they produced this little um, running sheet brochure for trying to sell this game. But I think even in 1975, they could have done a little bit better. Than this. Anyway, that aside, what is it that I actually bought? So. This machine, and I'll cut to some actual images of um, of what I found on Marketplace. Um, but yes, the machine itself is an old school electromagnetic or EM EM pinball machine, and that is that basically means it's, it's not actually running any solid state circuitry at all. Um, so there's no massive sort of circuit boards it's all run with relay switches and bells and with you know bells and lights um so yeah electromechanical means exactly what it sounds like it's just basically a bunch of gizmos and when a, a ball hits a target makes a switch turn it suddenly uh does something so um the back box all of the actual cabinet doesn't look too bad although the bottom of that cabinet doesn't actually have a base uh, base piece of wood in there. Now, I do have a, a photo uh, which I found on the pinball resource of what I normally look inside and there normally was a base board in there. So I'm going to replace that. That's one of the things that I'll fix. Um, the interesting thing is that um, this particular machine apparently was running according to the guy I bought it from. Then he transported it back to his shed at home and from his shop and it didn't work from that point onwards. So hopefully it's not too much to get it going. However, looking at the state of it and the fact that I actually pulled it out of a shed that actually was a little bit open airy um, or it was right next to the big roller door, um, was probably open to some elements at some stage. Um, anyway, let's have a, a closer look here. Take this phone off the thing. Alright, I'm going to put my little thing down. Let's go and have a look at this. So, this is the backboard. So, you 
can see the scores are actually scored here on rollers instead of a digital display. And what these are, these are tracks. Now if I could just grab this, grab these balls and just put them in the track. Drop one. So normally you have a ball sitting down here and then there's a little kicker which basically kicks the ball. Oh, dropped it. No, it's rolling away. It's rolling away. Ugh. So you score a bonus. And what they were saying in their brochure about these balls, this ball will kick up up here, go over and into this track and then get basically caught there and basically then eventually it will get released and go back so all oh, this is pretty rusty most of this is pretty rusty in fact some of these um some of these rollers and stuff actually aren't even screwed in properly but it all looks pretty tidy the back glass that was that would normally be sitting over here is over here And actually it looks pretty decent. It actually doesn't look like there's too much damage at all. It's a few flaky legs um, and a few flakiness around the white. But on the whole, it's looking pretty good. I don't think I would do anything to this back glass, apart from maybe protect it from flaking any further by using some triple thick. So that's pretty good. And then we've got the playfield. The playfield actually looks pretty decent too. There's a bit of fading here, but all the original cards seem to be there. So this is a bit faded, for instance. But for the most part, it actually looks Some paint damage on the on the spinners, um, but on the whole, it seems pretty good. Just gonna flip camera. So yeah, the theme being soccer, I think it's gonna be uh, quite um, an attractive draw card for those who are into, into football. That's what we call it, anyways. This is football. And let's have another look at this back glass. So yeah, we can see the flaking there. There's a few little spots. So I want to protect it as as much as I can now. But it's actually looking pretty good and uh, not too shabby at all. The only big piece of damage is here. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'd actually repair that at all. I can actually get another back glass if I wanted to. I do know that they are available. Um, but that's the thing, right? It's, do you restore something to it looks like it just got made? It sort of takes away from the whole loveliness of it all. Um, so you can see the side art is actually pretty dazzling. Both sides, there's not much damage to the cabinet. Got a few scratches here and there, but it actually looks pretty good. Same with the side art on the, the back box. The door's pretty rusty, but nothing a bit of hard work wouldn't be able to fix. Um, and you can see that the paint has flaked a fair bit from the front. So I might be able to actually just do that face. As in, um, clean up the rust. Maybe if I can source this or get it sandblasted, I'm not sure. Um, 
saw some new uh, new old stock um, and maybe get it but I might just sand, get the door sandblasted and shined up um, yeah it's actually looking pretty good the inside of behind the back box is amazing to say the least so you can see I've got a fun and games in front of me and there'll be a few videos coming out of this one I'm sure but um, hopefully I'll do some justice to what others do online and the inside of this one and I won't lift the play field just yet but inside of this I won't lift the play field So you can see there's a lot in there too. Now the play field looks pretty good. And the bottom, as I said, you can see through to the floor. Um, but on the whole, it actually looks pretty good. So that's going to be fun to repair. So yeah, this is going to be a new project. This is the Gottlieb 1975 Soccer. Uh, and this restoration I hope to do quite quickly. Touch wood. Touch wood. Um, do basically just get it up and running and tidy and make it actually look nice. And then put it straight back up for sale. So that uh, my end goal of actually building enough money in the kitty to buy my favourite pinball machine will become a little bit closer. Um, so something I like about the fact that I'm trying to restore pinball machines and bring them back from the dead and any money that I make goes into buying, you know, going towards another pinball machine is, I don't know, to me, it's pretty cool. So resurrecting pinball machines, and I'll hopefully end up with my favourite machine of all time, which is the Star Trek Next Generation pinball machine. The next video, yeah, very first video, we're going to go through and actually have a look at just seeing what is wrong um, with this, and maybe test out some things like earth points and stuff, just to make sure that it's a little bit safer. Um, just because the fellow that I bought it off marketplace had it going happen and something could have become alive so I'd rather try and do some checks to make sure that when I do plug it in we're uh, at least ready you know, with the big rubber gloves and stuff to turn it on and hopefully they don't black out my house when I do it. Cheers! You've been watching Prop Maker. Roll the thing.